Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to my baby. Hey everybody, Tech Bishop here. This videos that I put up are, are about my experiences that I've had during my career and I've decided to come on here and, and show you what I have learned. And if you are so interested in, in these videos, you type videos, click the uh, like button down in the corner and you can also subscribe. I have over 400 videos on these subjects, the trucking subject. But today I want to talk about the 9-speed transmission. This is like the basic everyday transmission now, which a lot of places are going over to automatic transmission, and I have videos on automatic transmissions also. But the 9-speed transmission is the uh, usual, um, what, what would you, I can't even think of the word, common, most common transmission that I've run into. And it works off of a, mainly an H pattern, you have your four speeds and then you have your high low now this is the low low and this is reverse up here you never use this low low unless you're pulling something really heavy up a hill or maybe you need to pull another truck out of the mud or something you might want to grab this gear but normally you would start off in, in one or two I start off in two if you're you know, depending on how heavy your load is I always start off in two I've never had any trouble taking off in two two three four then you have your pre-selector lever and your pre-selector switch is down. That works the low four speeds and the low low and the reverse. Uh, the reverse is all the way over. When you move your shifter, you'll feel it, a lot of loose play. And then you'll feel a little tightness over to the far left. Well, if you press it over a little bit more, then you can push it up in the reverse. That way it kind of helps you from when you're shifting you don't just automatically shoot it up in the reverse but you select you, like I said you do your four low gears like you would in a four speed car one two three four in the H pattern pre-select this switch and what I mean by pre-select it won't move until you take it out of gear or move into the neutral position so you can pop this up for as long as you want to. As soon as you get it into fourth position, you can pop that up and just let it sit there and wind it on up and get your RPMs up. And then when you get ready to go into fifth position, you back off the throttle. If you float or double clutch, whatever you do, as soon as you go into neutral, it pops over to the high speed or the high side of the transmission. And then you're back into your shifting pattern again. You're back over here now. This will be five, six, seven, and eight. Just that easy. Just have a high side of the transmission and a low side of the transmission. The reverse also has a high and low, but don't ever try to back up in the with the shifter in the high position, and don't try to shift like that. It's just it's bad. It, it'll do it. This will go backwards. I have done it in, in a bobtail situation. Pop it up into the high side and go into reverse, and it'll go backwards pretty quick. But you don't need to be in. If you if you got to go that far backwards, you need to turn around and drive. Like I said, but you do have your low over here. You rarely ever use your low, and this is spring loaded. So when you come from here and go to here, you're not going to fall over in here anywhere very easily. It will, but if it goes over there easily, you need your transmission shifter worked on. Well, like I said, we'll get into video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want more of these videos and go to the channel over there. I got um, lots of over 400 videos on various topics in trucking. So, And leave a comment if you want. And I'll see you on the next video. Tag Bishop, signing out.